how do you take what robotics is good at and tightly integrate that with what a person's good at and do that in a practical and comfortable manner is the biggest challenge in making exoskeletons work. Exobionics was founded in 2005, and at that point in time, we were working with the U.S. military to help soldiers carry heavy weight into the field and be less prone to injury. It was a titanium exoskeleton, and the idea was to help soldiers carry up to 200 pounds. Hulk was the culmination of about six years of development that led to a powered device at the hips and knees that could take the weight off the soldier's payload and allow them to have better endurance and less injuries. As we developed the exoskeleton technology with our work with the military, we also looked at other areas where our technology would be helpful. We focused on spinal cord injury and we focused on stroke. Exobionics received some government grants to adapt the technology and created a new device that was specifically targeted at the medical rehab market. And today we have over 300 devices in over 200 centers in the United States and in Europe. Our largest single customer is the VA system. The development of the ExoGT has been really useful for physical therapists to help patients regain walking function after their injury and the therapist can also use it to help patients do more walking for endurance, change the way they're using certain muscles to try to facilitate a more proper gait during their walking and recovery. While I was in rehab, I was lucky enough to try the GT and really got to feel what it was to stand properly because once I had the stroke, my gait and balance were way off. With the XFGT, it's managed to take me to a level of progress that I never really thought would happen. I mean, over the course of the past two years, I've really progressed a lot. Through the development of our medical exoskeleton technology, we learned a lot about how to attach robotics to people in durable, safe, comfortable manners, and how to share the load between the user and the robot. This allowed us to go into the industrial space. ExoWorks was launched in 2016. It is geared towards making exoskeletons for the industrial market. The Exo0G is used for heavy lift tools, anywhere from six to 35 pounds. The Exo Vest is used for repetitive overhead tasks, helping to lift the arm and relieve rotator cuff fatigue. A good example of what we're doing with um, Exo Vest is our partnership with Ford. Their employees raise their arms above their head about a million times a year, carrying a tool. And the tool's not particularly heavy, but that repetition without support makes folks prone to injury. And our device helps mitigate that. The SBIR program has been critical to the success of Exobionics. SBIR allowed us to procure research at a quicker pace and in ways that the other funding wouldn't support. The SBIR program is what actually enabled us to do all of what we're doing today. We help able-bodied people, we help disabled people do more than they could do on their own. When I see someone who's been injured through a stroke, or a spinal cord injury, to see them get up out of their wheelchair and be able to walk again, that makes my day every single day. Through initial SBIR funding from the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, Exobionics is giving people the gift of mobility and making the difference in hundreds of people's lives every day. Learn more at sbir.defensebusiness.org.